What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do everything outdoors. Today, my buddy Duda and I are on the road in the middle of the Boundary Waters in Northern Minnesota. Right now we're on a mission to try to find a canoe for rent. We're about a half hour inside of the Boundary Waters and we're gonna go try to catch some fish today. So hopefully we can get out on the lake, find ourselves a canoe and then find ourselves some fish. We don't have any meat for lunch so we're, we're kind of banking on catching some fish here. All right, folks, this is a lot more work today than I thought. We left the campsite at about nine, got on the road, drove for about 45 minutes, went to our first location. They told us they wouldn't rent us, rent us a canoe for offsite today because of the weather. And now it's about noon and we finally got a canoe on top of our truck, heading out to a small little rainbow trout lake and hopefully gonna catch some lunch. Today we have 15 mile an hour winds with 30 mile an hour gusts. Tonight it's supposed to get down to 45 degrees. We don't have any meat in the fridge for lunch. We have like some oatmeal and like cliff bars and some mixed nuts, things of that sort, but we don't have like actual substance. We'll be fine if we don't catch anything. We've got like beans and stuff in the truck, I guess too, but it's gonna really stink if we don't. Also, I don't know if I could fit anything more on, on my roof right now. So we, we managed to coax this, managed to coax this lodge into letting us rent a canoe today. He, this guy told us too he wasn't gonna let us rent a canoe and then we told him what lake we were going to. And it's a smaller lake, so he was comfortable with it, but I think we might be the only person, the only people taking a canoe off site today. All right, we just got everything packed up. Our gear we're bringing. Got a little five weight with some sink tip. And then we've got a couple spinning rods. The canoe's sitting down there. And then uh, we're gonna park the truck. I'm gonna leave the big camera back at the truck so it's less of a liability. It's pretty windy out there. So we're gonna bring the GoPros, bring a couple smaller cameras, and then hopefully uh, hopefully we can find a rainbow trout. It's like 12.30 right now. Not ideal conditions, but gotta go fishing. Are you in? We leaking water or anything? <laughs> so far. All right. Oh, I already got something. Okay. Yeah. Very well. All right, cool. All right, that's better. It's not too bad out here. like flying across the lake. And I don't know what to do. Go into this rock and see if we find a rock. Oh! Was that a trout? I didn't see what it was. Holy cow, if that was a trout, it was huge. That was a line? That must have been the homie. What's going on? I just got blown out. Now we're just getting sucked back in. They're like, back up, Tim. Back up. You gotta come in at it sideways. Yeah. I got on this one. Tip you quick. Is this gonna be big enough? No. I'm gonna pop some. T I think this should be. All right, what do we do here? We gotta change something up. We gotta get out of this. Thing. 
All right, anchor up. I got one. This is a good fish too. I don't know what it is yet. I'm assuming it's a trout. Oh, it's a smallmouth. What? That's a beefy boy. Alrighty. Look how fat he is. Well, I hate to do this to you, buddy, but we're going to have to put you on a stringer for a little while. No, 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 no. Could have named off a bunch of species I thought I was gonna catch, but I guess smallmouth wasn't really one of them. Probably around 75% of lakes up here have smallmouth in them, so I'm not really that surprised, but really was hoping that that was a rainbow. From what I know about this lake, there's only rainbows in here, but that's definitely legal smallmouth. Aaron and I don't have another fish yet, so we're gonna put them on the stringer, at least until, I mean, hopefully we can catch some rainbow trout, but we don't have meat right now, so we're about an hour, an hour out of like any town to go buy, buy protein. There's a couple of restaurants up here, but we wanted to cook out of the truck tonight, so. That's good, we got a fish, bud. You did, bud, you did a good job. Thanks, dude, appreciate it. All right, we're gonna keep trying for a rainbow trout and see if we can get something a little tastier. I've never had smallmouth, but it's hard to beat trout. Do the hooked up and I was trying to retie a new bobber. Here, here, here. Don't fall me too hard. Oh, oh, oh. Get him. Get him. Oh, an X gate. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh my God. That's good. Heck yeah, dude. Nice catch. That's your first trout ever, isn't it? First trout ever. All right, we're gonna bonk and bleed him. It's the trout socks, my guy. Yep. It's your first one, dude. Ready? Heck yeah. Should we let that smallmouth go now? Yeah. You uh, got the first trout. It's like three, three thirty right now. We're gonna stay out here and see if we can get another one. Um, definitely enough, enough trout for Duda. We're gonna let the smallmouth go now because we have a better. Like we can at least do a trout catch and cook, and I don't really feel um, like cooking a smallmouth today. Yeah, it's a good sign. Gotta finish setting up this rod here. It's all a mess now because I was like trying to throw Duda the net. But yeah, Duda's first Duda's first rainbow trout. Hey, it worked. Remember I told him? What? I told that bass. Oh yeah, we <laughs> Duda said to the bass, he's like, Hey man, tell tell your trout friends to come over, we'll let you go. So now that, that bass gets to live another day. Oh, that's a trout. Me? Yep. Oh, I got your fish. Get him. Is it a trout? Yep. Yeah! Damn, I didn't know you had it in the boat. Nice. I am a menace. Let's go. Yeah, dude. All right. All right. We eating good. We're both eating tonight. Nice rainbow trout. Just bleeding them out. I'll show you guys in a second. You need a, you need a half crawler. Oh, I got a fish on right now. Fat cast right where my bobber is. There's a school there, dude. Oh. All right. Another rainbow. Oh, yeah, I got, I got a fish biting. Yep, fish on. Fish on. And I got one too. You got him on? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Wait. They're the same fish? Oh, we got the same fish. We got the same one. Or am I just wrapped? You think you're just wrapped? Yeah. Hey, that's a double though. <laughs> oh, you broke my line. To the camera. There, see my hooks right here? It just broke off. That's out, and then Aaron's is still attached. Look at it. <laughs> I was gonna say, like. There you go. Just like that. Oh, That's bad. so weird, dude. I've never. Oh, he went down. Okay. Alright, one more cast. Should we call it? Yeah. Alright. Like the real one? Oh! Uh -huh. Aaron! Yep. Oh! Let's go. You want a fourth one? I don't know. No, we don't. Alright, let's let this guy go. 
There you go, number four. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're kind of in a rush right now. We just loaded up everything onto the truck. Got the trout in the fridge. And we gotta drive like 10 minutes to get back to the place we bought the canoe at, or rented the canoe at. And it's 6.50 right now, so... We're supposed to be there before seven, so we might just barely make it. Aaron and I also have to find a campsite for tonight, so don't don't know where we're gonna sleep. Gotta cook the fish. Got some buzzer beater fish, but right now we're kind of paying for it. Hey, dog. Hi. Hi. Hey. All right. That feels good that we made it on time and five minutes late. Five minutes late. Oh, I'm going X Games. That's actually crazy. All right guys, so Duda has not cleaned a trout by himself before, so we're gonna show him how to do it really quick. Um, and I thought it might be helpful for you people at home too. Um, so I'll do I'll do the first one and explain it to him. I've got three fish, so. The nice thing about cleaning a trout is you don't have to have a regular fillet knife. You can just do it with a, any old little knife because you really don't use the knife that much. So literally what you do is you flip it over and you see its butthole. You like cut from its butthole all the way up to where you started bleeding it, so right up to where the gills go. You just take it, and you just literally push. That comes out. It's pretty tough, so you might have to give it a couple swipes. And you can see it's all gutted, right? There's no guts left in there. But you see that big bloodline right there? Yep. That's, trout always have that. So you literally just take your thumb, and you just pop that membrane, and you push it all out. See that? Yep. And it all comes out. And then that fish is ready to go to the lake to be, like, wash. Oh, yeah. And that goes all the way through. That's all right. As long as I don't cook herself. I go from the back. Go the way. Way. Yeah. 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 Did I not I go? Give it a good press. Nice work, bud. Hey, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Not that's that's the fastest way to clean a trout. Oh, yeah. Dude, what are those? There's crayfish right here. Look at all those crayfish. Dude, there is crayfish here. Look at all. Of oh them. yeah. There's so many, dude. Oh my. See all them? Yeah. Should we? We should put the trap on tonight the, with the fish. Yeah, you gotta it. put the trap on. Dang. What? You know what they're probably doing? Hmm. I bet they're eating. Uh, I was gonna say maybe they're eating all that stuff we threw in the lake, but we didn't really throw that much stuff in here besides oatmeal when we washed it off. They're just hanging out on the rocks. That's what's going on. Oh, there's one right here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you see him come out of the water. Uh huh. I'm not a good crayfish catcher. Not yet.
So I'm gonna try to scoop some of this salsa into here. I'm hoping that one, this stays in there while it's cooking, and two, it helps get some more of the flavor in the fish, because usually when you're cooking stuff, like cooking fish, for example, it's just, it falls out everywhere. But let's see what we can do here. That looks pretty good. Add some of this for good measure. All right, this is always, there you go. All right. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah. It's about dang time. Dude, yeah, we like rushed out of here or we rushed out of the lake and rushed over here. We went to the same exact camp spot that we were at last night. It's kind of a gamble if it was gonna be open or not, but it, it being like the end of like normal people's weekends, um, we tr we decided to hedge a bet is what I'm trying to get at. We had a 50-50 chance of getting this campsite and we drove down here and it, it was fine. But this whole day has been a gamble. This whole day has definitely been a gamble, yeah. If we're gonna get a canoe. Yeah, if, if we're, we're gonna... gonna get a canoe on. <laughs> we're gonna catch a fish. Yeah, you got the first fish though, and you learned how to clean a trout. Yeah, That's and awesome. I got my first trout. Oh, yeah. Well, this this is already gonna taste good because it's gonna taste like victory. Yes. Hard days. Work. Good actually, I think it's done. Oh shoot, we should have made some french fries. Yeah. That's alright. You want half this jalapeno? Sure. I think this is gonna be pretty good, dude. It looks. It smells so good. good. Dude. Yeah. It smells so oh, good. Yeah. It's a shame they can't smell it. Smell tube. <laughs> All right. So after, I don't know, four or five hours of hard work today, maybe more than that. We got on at one and left. Back at, at eight. Left at six fifteen. <laughs> yep. So we had a lot of hours on the water for these today. Definitely the last hour was a. Uh, was the best part of the day. We finally got on a little school of them and made up for moving around the lake as much. And I don't know, it's just, it's how fishing went. We would've been completely happy with just one, but definitely uh, not complaining about having one and a half fish on my plate rather than a half of a fish. All right, we're gonna dive into these fish. These fish were wild trout when we filleted them. They had a uh, pink meat, so probably gonna be a lot tastier. This is my first time doing a mango salsa on them, so. I don't even know if I've seen this done before, but it smells so good. I can't even can't even wait to dive in. Dude and I are both just running on oatmeal today. <laughs> you can eat the skin also if you want, oh, but nice. you don't have to. It's kind of charred. The flame was a little high at the beginning, so it did get a little bit charred, but I think it actually might taste good with the with, with the, the fruit the and salsa, the salsa, yeah. yeah. It's just peeling right off the bone. Yeah, it does. It's nice. Not right. The skin's actually really good for you. It's yeah, got omega threes in it. Omegas, yeah. Yeah. So dude and I were just talking over dinner too, and I kind of didn't really say this very well, but everything kind of just added up how it should have today. Like it went as well as it could have gone. Like we woke up this morning, didn't know if we could get a canoe. We ended up like finding out that the weather was really bad today and a lot of places weren't letting people rent out canoes. Um, we ended up finding a place that rented a canoe and it was locally or it was right next to a lake that we wanted to fish So we just got lucky. I guess it fit on top of the truck Like I didn't know if a canoe was even gonna fit on top of my truck So had no idea how to fish rainbows out of a canoe didn't know what I was doing and it happened So sometimes I guess what I'm trying to get at is it's good. It's good to just jump into something and not really know um, 
what's going on. I know I'm kind of a I'm kind of a head case sometimes that way. I like to have everything figured out before I get on the road and like to be prepared, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes it's good to just jump and I guess that's what like camping and like truck camping and fishing like always just keep teaching me is that like it's okay to just jump and like try things and fail. So today could have been a complete failure, but it's just one of the days that kind of makes up for the days that you have to suffer through, I guess. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Count my blessings today. We did her, buddy. Oh. Alright guys, well it is really, it is pretty dang cold tonight. I'm going to try to just sleep with the regular covers. It's supposed to get down to like 43 degrees tonight, which is pretty chilly for this time of year. But I'm going to have my zero degree bag next to me if I really need, if I need it, I can take it out. But that's that. I think I should be good. Duda has a sleeping bag today. He actually slept with just blankets um, the last couple nights and surprisingly only his feet got cold somehow. I don't know how that's even possible, but... Poor circulation. Poor circulation? Oh, dude, there's a giant spider in here. Yeah. I'm gonna kill it. Oh. Oh, it wasn't a spider. It was just a male mosquito. But it looked like a spider, kind of. Alright, well, our third and final night. Alright, see you guys in the morning. That is beautiful. That's so crazy. That's my bedroom. Well, another good day in the books. Another night in the truck. And uh, yeah, wish I could have caught some more crayfish, but I guess that's what's gonna keep me coming back. It's kind of fun to be roommates again with my old college buddy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this episode. Thanks for taking some time out of your day and spending it with us. And uh, until next time, my name's Maverick, and you know the drill, just keep on trucking.